Yes. Well, I certainly don't want to in any way minimize the pain or uh, sorrow or confusion of people who have experienced um, unhealthy or wrong things from leaders. Uh, leaders are in a position where their their words uh, carry special weight, their attitudes. Uh, and uh, John writes about... Um, Diotrephes, who loved to have the preeminence, and he he cast people out of the church, and and so on, and so there there is that that um, that difficulty, that uh, pain that people experience at the hands of of, of uh, those who are in authority that don't handle that in the way that Jesus calls us to. Um, I don't. Um, obviously, situations vary considerably, and so we have to we have to think in terms of um, not being able to answer all of the the particular questions. But there are a number of questions that I personally have tried to ask uh, when I've been in difficult situations. Uh, years ago, in a situation where the the pastor um, actually became very angry at me. He confessed this later, but uh, at the time, it was a very painful uh, situation. Uh, but one of the things is I sought the Lord uh, in that. Um, I think there is a time when we maybe need to move to another setting. Uh, in fact, in this situation, I even asked him if I should, and he thought it would be good if I would. And I so we've been seeking the Lord, trying to... Uh, understand his will. And I remember specifically in in praying, uh, God spoke to me saying, uh, you don't leave until I've done everything in you I want to do. And came to realize that that God can actually do good things in us, even in difficult circumstances. And uh, in that case, uh, one of the things that he worked on me was was my pride. My, uh, it was a kind of an involved situation that I, I won't necessarily go into, but uh, I realize that God can actually do good things in us if we are open to him, even through uh, painful um, things from leadership. And then I remember <clears throat> praying later, and it seemed that God said to me, uh, don't leave until I've done everything through you that I want to do. And realizing also that uh, sometimes in in difficult relationships, um, we easily think of it only in terms of ourselves. And and God may want to do something through us. And I realized that this, this pastor maybe needed me as much as I needed him, or that God was at least using him in my life. And uh, I think in that, we, we don't ever justify wrong. We're not saying that that, that, is, that is right. But we look to God and, and allow Him and be sure that our responses are being guided by, by Him. Um, I think that <clears throat> there are times when people uh, shift, uh, re go to a different congregation or, or whatever. Sometimes that may be necessary, but not just jumping, not just quickly doing that, seeing that this is guided by God. I think we, we, we have to always be careful about making moves that are primarily about what we don't want and being sure that we are actually following following God. Coming to the church, I think, with the mentality, not primarily what, what can the church do for me, but what can I do for the, for the church, if I can borrow uh, Kennedy's uh, uh, statement about mm -hmm. our country. Um, so, so with that, with that way of thinking, um, the reality in a close relationship, just as in a marriage, in a family, uh, in the church, there will be offenses. There will be things that happen that are hurtful that uh, that shouldn't happen. That's the process of our of our growing, our becoming. But how we respond to those things is so significant in terms of of the the ongoing effect on, on us that. Jesus is Jesus has such grace that he can enable these um, these wounds actually to be part of our development as we look to him.